Yeah, I, I think we also need to be aware that we do have to exact this technology. Despite you can't just es escape. There's a lot of us on our well, not our, I wouldn't say our my side of things. Uh, we talk. Everyone's talking about escaping this transhumanism, going out to the woods. People are buying land out in in England, finding way, looking at ancient English law, and it's quite interesting. For, oh, you can buy the law allows me to build a house out here if I'm out here for four years or whatnot, without having to get a permit for it. Stuff like that, right? To escape the technology, but ultimately, I do think we do need to accept it and use it for our own. For instance, for me, to let's say, I mean, we need to protect ourselves from these hyper agencies, for instance. Because you're opening a portal to your being when you connect to these things. So for me, I use the technology blockers, for instance. I have a timed blocker for certain times of day to make sure I'm off it. Because, I'll, because of course, you can have practices outside of that. Yeah. Meditation, prayer, and, uh, and stoic practice, whatnot. But you, I think we can also use the technology to sort of help control it so it's a sort of... We can inframe it ourselves in a way. So it's in doses so yeah we hope I mean, so i mean chris it's hard have to do i mean you're doing it yeah it's hard isn't it well how do you deal with that because you've got twitter right i i yeah it's it's dangerous you get sucked in very easily i i, I posted this message uh, the other day is i started following this drama with uh, kanye and all that and it's very interesting and like you said watch the fool that's that's important to see what what the fool's and seeing what it ex the fool brings up or whatever but you get drawn into someone else's drama. And I just posted this thing saying to my audience that don't get too wrapped up in, in e-drama of people that don't care about you on the local because you don't mm -hmm. know them. And we're not supposed to know them. They're not yeah. supposed to know them. We're supposed to live our own journey. And with Christ and such, we're supposed to live our own. And then we're, yeah. we, we were supposed to live in villages, right? So if you get wrapped up in some politician, some e-celebrities thing, you're not going to live your own. You've got a destiny. With your own people and on the local, it could be brewing ales, it could be, it could be gardening. But you can find that destiny and how you can contribute. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I use Twitter as a, you could say I use I use Twitter as a thermometer for my own health. Like that's how I use it in the sense that you know I do use Twitter and it's there, but I use it as a way to to uh, uh, let's say to know how I'm doing spiritually and mentally, and so. Then I just watch what I'm doing on Twitter and, and watch myself and I see when I'm I'm kind of going off. And so like the Kanye thing is a good example because you know, I've been talking about Kanye since since what 2016? Like maybe no, maybe 2019, 2018, 2019. But I've been watching him since 2003, really. Uh and so you know, I, I taught I made several videos on him, and now it's like it's burning, right? It's like it's <laughs> the whole thing is like burning. And I'm and I real and I decided that I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. And so, uh, like a month ago, I made a Patreon only video, but now I'm like, I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah, and people are like, Sorry. I can't wait for your analysis of the thing. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's not coming. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to wait don't, two months yeah. until everything calms down and that yeah. nobody cares about this anymore, and then maybe I'll talk about it to avoid that. Like, because obviously, if I want the clicks, I would do it right now. Like I would have done it last week if I wanted yeah. the clicks, but. I'm just like I'm gonna. I guess I, I, that's the way it's gonna play out for me. It's to try to not to try not to get like you said. Try not to just ride the wave yeah. and get completely taken up by it. But uh, yeah, yeah. Twitter is the devil. Like Twitter is definitely. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a tough one. It really sucks you in, and it's also because it's it's right now. It's also so entertaining. So yeah. it's, it it makes it even worse to follow well, this stuff. It's protecting your dignity in a way. I was speaking to another ch uh, chap um, on my channel. He was saying how the machine in another way would use the wages to get you to overwork. And he was talking about how as a working class chap in North England that, that he felt that pressure. And, and he felt that, well, hang on, if I've got my principles, I'm not going to work on this Saturday. And I'm going to go out into England and enjoy the being. And so mm. in a way, it is that. It's like, well, what matters? God and your dignity and this or that? And so that, But isn't it horrible that we're... It's this thing that it's this thing. you have to be aware of it. It's a force. If you don't see it as a being or something acting on you, then it will just possess you autonomously. If you don't recognize it's a force that reaches out. We're also talking about um, going on forest walks into the into the in, into into the forest right? in England, for instance, to to sort of go into being to escape that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And talking about how a friend of his uh, went into the forest to sort of criticize his video 
about this and made jokes about, oh, it's just like Dark Souls. But he took his phone with him when he went out there, right? And what he didn't realize is what happens, in a way, the being reaches out from the phone into you. It just, it's connected. Yeah, it, would, it, has, a, it has a hold on you. Yes. It's not, it's, it's the cognition, it's sort of connected. It's like the tendrils. Yeah. They, 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 they're connected. You have to actually literally have it disconnected. You, because it'll do, you, if you're a materialist, you could say, okay, it's your brain knows it's there it's unconsciously. Right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter because it still, it still works. And it, it's interesting because you can, you can, people now with phones, like what you said, this idea that it, the, the having the phone on you, right, it affects your behavior. It affects your anticipations. It affects, even if you're not looking at it, it will affect you in a way that will will really kind of envelop you and, and control you to a certain extent. And so you can understand if you, it's like, d- dude, now you understand magic, folks. Now you know how magic works. Mm. That's how magic works. And it mm. works. It's like a talisman can work. And it, it, it can affect you. It can affect the people around you. It can have a, it can have a, an effect on you and so you can understand why wearing a cross around your neck really can protect you and works there, yes there's all kinds of things that you can do uh, that you can have on you or that you can carry with you which will have the same effect as the effect you feel on your with your phone but maybe at a more positive way and yes. so that's why it's the same as like like you said for example a good example would be wearing a suit right or wearing certain types of clothing you know, you can't avoid it affecting you. If you mm-hmm. if you wear a three piece suit and you go to the beach, you just will not be the same person as if you go to the beach and you're wearing a bathing suit. It you just will be completely different. And so mm-hmm. these types understanding this is really helpful, I think, for materialists to see. Mm-hmm. And the phone is probably it may be a good way. It's a it's dark because in some ways we're it shows us our obsessions, but it, it can help you understand how the world functions through these influences. It's not a straightforward material process yes it's like it starts to become clear what they were talking about in these old stories and old traditions gawain there's a reason why he brings his shield he's he's the reason why he all these artifacts they have with them actually have an effect it's like icons it's uh there's a reason why you do you do the cross does something it's not just a thing it's a it's a rich it's a an acted an acted psycho technology if you want to call, call it that um all these things and that's what is so good about the internet is that it has this hyper effect where people start to get it and they think, ah, oh. it's like the egregore thing. When people, uh, when it's articulated them in engineering terms, they see, oh, so this, and then you can draw the bridge for them to say, well, yeah, this is what happened on a different scale. The ancients understood this. It yeah, was just exactly. Like, 